Hey everyone, Jason here. Same day, different shit. This is an iPhone 6 that was sent here for... Is my sound working? Yeah, it's working. Uh, this one was sent here for no image, no backlight, no touch after a screen replacement. Uh, I'm not used to all those things combined. It's normally no image, no backlight, no backlight or no touch. I really... I hope for the best. Let's open it and see what we're getting into. This video is immediately following my last video. I'm actually doing this one right now because right after my last video, I noticed that the big problem I had with microscope focus, that camera's all auto-focused out, isn't it? Uh, the big problem I had with focus is actually the focus knob on my microscope stand was a little loose and it was allowing the, the head to drift. And that's why I had so much trouble. So, all right, so we had one missing pentalobe screw. Where are you gonna focus today? How about how about if I do this, you focus on my hand. Will that make things clear for my YouTube audience? Camera, Logitech, you're going to get fired if you don't quit it. Ooh. Look at the size of the screw I just pulled out of that bottom right hole, man. Good God, man. He is looking for the cheapest route to retrieving the photographs from this phone. Uh, we're not interested in a full repair. If a full repair is going to make this more expensive, notice how I'm saying all that shit after I pulled that long screw out of the bottom left hole. Come on. Who likes doing iPhone 6 bottom left hole long screw damage whenever the screw looks a, like a, a, a mile long? That is horrifying. Even a even a, even a short long screw in the bottom left hole on an iPhone 6 sucks the hard one. But whenever it's a long, long screw in the bottom left hole... <sighs> All right, let's... Uh... Oh, man. I'm afraid to look. Is it... Are you guys afraid to look? I'm afraid to look. Here, how about... How about you look? And I won't. Yeah. Is it is it bad? I can't tell. Oh. Oh. He said that it lights up dim with no touch. It the screen lights up, we get no backlight and no touch. He's only wanting to get photographs out of the phone. And he wants to do this for the cheapest possible route. So what is my route for achieving functional touch on a severely long screw damaged iPhone 6? Is the long screw damage actually causing the issue with no touch? Um, let's see, let's pull up the board view file for iPhone 6 long screw damage. It's been a long day. I'm a little bit sludge headed. Let's see. iPhone 6 screw holes. I think they just put three too many screw holes on these phones. That, that's what's wrong. Why couldn't they just do a short screw in every hole? I mean, I mean, seriously. All right. You're going to be like LCM reset. You're going to be some other API, AOS to AP int. That's right. You are our chestnut and able line. Um, none of that shit's going to cause us to not get touch because if he got image with no backlight, that means chestnut and able is connected. That means LCM reset is connected. This is assuming that the customer's story is a hundred percent anatomically correct. All right. Well, damn. All right. Let's look at the other screw hole. Anything up here that's going to dick with touch. Some data buffer, like, who needs data anyway? All right, we got some I2C lines, just a bunch of hogwash there. We got a 1v8 line here. Could that be interfering with touch? Hmm. <laughs> I almost bet you that this thing is no image and no backlight. Let's hook a screen to it. We're going to go for a screen that has the backlight box removed. They work wonders for doing data recovery on phones that have no backlight and 
we're going to hook our wonky screen up to this wonky phone. Now, I got to say that in terms of severe long screw damage, I'm, I'm going to try not to rant, try not to talk too long this time, but I got to say, this long screw damage, this is severe. This has got the PCB pulled apart, and it is just it is just torn apart. So for a full repair here, you're looking at a lot of little connections that have to be recreated. And I just, I kind of feel like some customers, if they realized exactly how Frankenstein that board was going to be, they may not want to pay what I would have to charge as a, as a rate to fully repair it. Um, these things can get into a lot of time. And um, how am I trying to word that? If they realize what it would do to the value of the phone, like an iPhone 6 or a 6 Plus that has never been pounded in any of its holes, um, that has a pretty well set value. But once you come along and you do this sort of rework on the board and you've got the screw holes removed and wires running everywhere and glue and shit all over it, the value that that phone would have been at untouched has now just been completely destroyed. It's like the phone's been wrecked, it's been repaired, but now it has a salvage title. So in terms of severe long screw damage with the work queue that I got, I've been no fixing this shit. This phone for me, this is absolutely positively a no fix. This is a data recovery mission. Um, so now that I got that all cleared up, I fucking hate long screw damage. <laughs> let's see if I can get an image on the screen. Fucking piece of shit. Stupid ass long screw damage. <laughs> quit long screw damage. And I'm like, I've been through a mountain of phones today. And I think half of them have been long screw damage. So every time I open a phone and I'm taking the screws out, I'm like, pfft, looking at that screw carefully, each screw. And when I pull the screw out, I already know. that. I already know. I mean, I don't even have to have the microscope to look in it. When you pull a screw this long, you're not going to be able to see it. Out of a hole this long, you just, you know bad shit has to happen. Look at my long screw damage video where you see the screw go in and it just pulls the screw hole off the board. It's ugly, dirty, nasty nasty injuries all right let's hook this thing up i'm going to use the iphone 6 lead on this one since it is an iphone 6 and my iphone 6 lead is still good there we go there's my power supply This supply is in its last weeks. Do you see how I have seemingly drifted from <clears throat> 4 volts to 10 when my target is 4.2? You seeing this? Dirty, dirty, dirty potentiometers. All right, so let's hook our supply up. And sometimes I'll give the bench one of these just to make sure that thing's not going to jump to 5 volts as soon as I sneeze. All right, we're hooked up, we are drawing zero amps. Now, in cases like these, what I do, I'll try to keep this in front of the camera, move these stupid screws out of the way. We don't need to keep all these screws straight anyway, do we? we just throw all that aside. We don't need no magnets keeping screws straight. I seriously don't. I mean, I got such a good eye for long screws now, there's no way in hell I'm gonna take a long screw and pound it into one of those short holes. I just, I automatically sort screws while I'm reassembling phones because that, man, that is a way to take a really, really, really basic problem and turn it into a nightmare. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna push the power button. <clears throat> Excuse me, and notice I'm hooking the microscope, I'm using the microscope to light the back of the display. I'll be really, really shocked if we have anything on the screen. 100 milliamps of current. hundred and sixty hundred and eighty okay so it's it's like I thought here the screen oops this has no image this is a data recovery mission because there's no image on the screen and in order for me to get an image on the screen I have to I have to do real work Let's take one more look at it and see if I'm going to do this today. It's late in the day. I've only got about another hour left before I quit. Can I pull the data off of this phone within an hour? How deep is it? Man, boss, that is a pretty big mess. 
And did you notice how long this thing hung at 100 milliamps? It makes me wonder... If one of the I2C lines in the bottom right hole is shorted... Let's go ahead and pull a screw hole. And see if we can get an image on the screen. Oh, lordy. Um, let's see if this little J-tippy tip here is going to be enough to pull that screw hole off. I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and pre-warm this area just a smidgen with hot air. We probably want to warm it just until the battery starts to turn good and black. Oh, wait, it's already black. All right, well, maybe we should just wait for fire. When we start seeing fire, um, that's about where we'll want to stop heating up the battery. I'm just, I, I should watch what I say. There'll be like 2,000 people watch this, and there's going to be like one of them that says, he said to wait for fire, you know. <laughs> Don't set shit on fire because of something goofy I said. Please, I won't be able to sleep at night. All right, so I have fixed my microscope drift. Microscope, stay in focus. Get a little blob of leaded solder. Screw hole. Oh. Oh, yeah, nice bite on that. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that screw hole. Bring forth the sacrificial data. Before the day is over, this phone is going to say uncle. And it will fork over its data. And this time I really did burn the battery. Damn it! See, that's why... Oh, and by the way, that's under the microscope too, so you can... You can barely see my big ass battery ding, but that is really why you should do something, unlike I did. And what I normally do is I use iPhone 5 shields on these batteries. Only my iPhone 5 shield that is normally laying here seems to have grown legs and walked off. So we're going to throw like an iPad Air Shield or something on here. You know, now that I've already burnt it. See, I'm doing all this to be lazy and not pull the board out. Like, what if I can do this and not pull the board out of this phone? I'll be able to get this guy his data even faster. All right, so we are... Screw hole is pulled loose out way out here. Look at that. See that whole shit moving? That's a big old bubble way out here. Not only is it lifted out here, but it's actually fucking torn. Like, let me try to zoom out and focus on this so you can appreciate this cut that I'm making. I'm not making, I, this isn't like a new cut. I'm just following an, an existing tear. This board is already raised up to the point right here. See that? How that's raising up so easy. That is a fucking mess. Okay, so we're just gonna gently rip this apart. All right, let's see what our damage is. We're going to put a little alcohol in there. I got a sneaky feeling I might have pulled a handful of traces out with that hunk of uh, PCB. I'm not sure what would give me that idea. OK. 
Okay. So far we're still only first layer. Okay. For the duration of this repair, I'm going to go ahead and pull the board out. So skip forward about 60 seconds and the board will be out unless I decide to edit it out of this video. I just, I'm going to feel like a total fool if I wind up putting a big gouge in the battery and starting a fire and then in the end wind up having to pull the board out anyways to complete this recovery. So what we're shooting for here is we're looking for an image on the screen with working touch so that I can back up this phone and then export the pictures. Or in some cases just plug it in and export the pictures because a lot of times that's all that people want. They just want their pictures. Um, but whenever you send it here for data recovery, my goal is a full iTunes backup. Once again, we're going to keep really close track of these screws here. I'm actually not being sarcastic. Let's see, that one's our top right. Although, even if you sneezed and mixed up my screw pile, I'm still, I'm not... I'm not going to drill a long screw into one of these short holes, man. I'm just not going to do it. I'm too paranoid. I think I'm more gentle on phones than surgeons are on patients. Like, seriously, anytime I've ever went in to get surgery for anything, I always come out with bruises all over me. It's like, what the f They worked on my knee. Why do I got bruises on my back? They slop you around like a hunk of meat. Or that that place did anyway. And then they charge me like sixty thousand dollars for it. Oops. Time to grease my stool. Alright. Much more. Much, 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 much more desirable to work on. Alright, so let's kick that here. Give me a little piece of tape out, and back to the microscope. Let's see if we can get the data. All right, so for data, I am after. We are going to need AP to LCM reset, and we are going to need LCM to chestnut power enable. We can do without these strobe lines. I'm pretty sure we can do without Oscar. We can do without rear camera. We are going to need the 5v7 line to light up the image. We don't need this LED strobe driver. Cool. And we don't need the warm one either. So we only need two of these traces to talk, right? Right? You only need two for image, right? <laughs> right after this video, I'm going to go get a can of WD-40 and I'm going to oil my stool. This is driving me insane. All right, so let's continue to trim this a little bit. And you know, when the long screw damage isn't too severe, like if I can, if I manage to excavate down in here and I don't tear a bunch of important stuff and it looks promising, I will go ahead and do full repairs. And in some cases, I'll do the repair and even reinstall the screw hole. But when it looks like the phone is just going to be really Frankensteined, like this one probably is, um, it winds up being a no fix. It's it's data only. If they can get some use out of it, cool. Otherwise, I don't want to go through all of this unless the, I I know that I've got decent odds of having a prize at the end of the rainbow. Let's get rid of our little, our little biscuit, our ground plane biscuit. There we go. The biscuits sound pretty good right now.
Wait, am I chasing one of those we don't need? I think I'm chasing one that we don't need. Let's see. So we absolutely need LCM reset and we need chestnut enable. So let's go over here. Let's make sure we got our chestnut enable. Let's tackle that first. I believe that's it right there. Am I wrong? Okay, that's going to be chestnut enable. I'm just, I'm dug a little farther over to the left than what I'm used to seeing. Okay, so chestnut enable is the. We want it to be exposed. Now up top, we've got, above that, we've got, am I on the right phone? iPhone 6 screw, <laughs> what are these other traces? Am I nuts? All right, let's put some alcohol on this. And then we're going to count and make sure we've got the right number of traces here. Sometimes a ground trace will throw you off too. All right, let's get some alcohol on, haul on here so we can see this a little better. No, what we've got here is um, this one is LCM reset. And right here at the end of here, it will turn and go up. And it may actually be way up here just outside of that screw hole. And this one doesn't appear to be pulled out right there. So I'm going to say that that's probably good. So what we need to do here is we need to get this line reconnected. This is LCM reset right here. That's going to have to be connected to get the data out of this phone. And... Chestnut enables good... All right, let's see if we can get LCM reset connected here. I'm on the wrong end of my spool. One of these ends I had right for pulling wire off of. All right, my spool of wire fell on the floor. Uh, that's gone forever, so I've got to take apart another vibrator. Uh, but until then, I found a hunk of wire laying in the floor that I think I can use to get that off of this phone. So um, let's use this hunk of wire that I just found in the floor. It's probably way too big for trace repair, but... What's this look like? I'm sure it's going to be way big. This is what I use for, like, backlight repairs. Eh, it's not too big. We're going to use it. 
All right. It is, is actually too big. It's pretty big wire. But this is not a repaired phone. Like, this is leaving here as data recovery. I'm going to try to send this back at, at a point where he can swipe to unlock. But as far as, like, everything working, like, I'm not going to promise the ear speaker works. I'm not going to promise touch ID works. Like, I'm not going to promise that anything works on this. I'm going to be promising that he is able to get his data. That's my goal. This is a data recovery mission. Or I wouldn't be doing it. Now you may note that I have not done any troubleshooting here. Like I haven't, I could have used a multimeter just now and checked and to make sure that this reset line's broken. You know, wait, I can't check that one too easy. I can check it from the connector to this trace. Um, I can check whether or not the LCM, the um, chestnut power enable is present. You know, I can check those things with a multimeter, but you know, if you look at it and it's visibly screwed, it's, it's really just a waste of time to pull out a multimeter and uh, do any troubleshooting. I mean, you, you can see it. It's broken. Reconnect it. Okay, I'm not exactly sure. I thought that I had that stuck. But then I didn't, so now I want to make sure that it's not... Stuck to anything else. So, what we're going to do here, I am going to... See how long my wire is. plenty long okay we're gonna see which pin that reset line goes to and the way I'm gonna do that is we're gonna use the XW tool and just let's confirm that is AP to LCM reset L and we're going to switch over to the iPhone thick and we're going to swoop right in here on the connector and random pick we're just going to click it random until we find it power enable yay reset con L so that's one 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pins from the bottom. Okay, so that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, now we're going to try to tin our wire. That looks good. If it'll dry, but we're going to keep it. Because it is actually firmly soldered. And if it will survive what I'm getting ready to do, it'll survive a trip back home. So let's break this off. So what we've done now, we've reconnected the um, AP to LCM reset line. We've actually ran that around and we've reconnected it to the trace where it has been severed due to long screw damage. And after I get the data off of this one, I might, you know what, no, just, just no, no might nothing. It's got screw hole damage in the other screw hole. And this thing is tore up bad enough to where it's likely to have ear speaker issues. I don't know if any of you have ever ran into that before. I have. Sometimes it's pleasant. Other times it's a royal pain in the ass where you just don't have a connection back to the audio codec for the ear speaker to work. And then... You're stuck with having to pull the audio codec and put wires to the balls under it. But I think it's I, I just I don't anymore. Um, but once you do that, and if you've done all this beautiful trace repair, well, not me. I don't do beautiful trace repair. But once you get all this trace repair done, if you go to do a audio codec, you can kiss your trace repair goodbye because it's going to go. If there's any tension on the wires, if you've managed to do it without any tension whatsoever, you may not have an issue. Okay, so um, let's check and make sure that I haven't done anything silly. Remember that trace broke off way up inside here? And I can't really see it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check this ninth pin up. I'm gonna check and make sure it's not shorted to ground. Just to be on the safe side. hundred K to ground that is a normal reading for the AP to LCM reset line so this that should be good we've got a normal reading on reset let's see if I'm able to get the data off of this phone I'm gonna take the man's word for it that the image lit up and had no backlight for the time being because I'm I, I'd really 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 like to get the data off of this phone our initial test run here is going to be hooked to my power supply which I don't fully expect to get a full boot out of it but I do expect to reveal any smoke and fire if there is going to be any and also to be able to see somewhat of a pulse or a heartbeat if we get nothing on the screen all right let's see if we get an image Of course, no backlight because the box is torn off. Okay. Now, right here, ever so delicately, I don't even have it on the right camera. If I show you this ever so delicately, I might be able to show you that apple, but I can't. It's just not bright enough. 
I'm going to go ahead and disconnect my supply. And at this time, I don't really believe that this has no backlight either. This is most likely, hey dude, what's up? This is most likely going to be no image and no backlight, which we just solved by reconnecting the AP to LCM reset line. So what we're going to do now, we're going to hook up a normal screen to this dude. And we are going to go with a known working battery. I want a battery that is charged. So I didn't already hand it out to a customer. Surely I... How come every time I go to make a video, my... There we go. I was going to say my known good batteries are gone. It's, it's a video thing. All right. Let's use this one here with the backwards label. His battery is probably good, but uh, I want us. I want one sh one shot at this at getting the data, and I may come back to this one. <sighs> no, I won't. I keep thinking, you know, look, it, it, it. See, that's that's what that's what a customer does. They look at it and they're like, oh, look, it swipes and everything. It's just, it's only got that one little thing wrong with it. This is some severe damage, and I data recovery. Okay, so we've got a screen hooked up to it that's got backlight. We've got a battery hooked up to it that I know is charged, and I'm going to prompt this to boot using the 5 volt USB line because as soon as it boots, I'm going to run a backup. So let's get backup software ready. Also known as iTunes. And we are going to connect 5 volts to the USB rail, which will trigger a prompt to boot. This phone now has backlight. Can't believe I lost that little spool of wire I've been using since the earth cooled. Or the earth thawed. I say it wrong every time. I never get it right. All right, I'm going to switch views here and hopefully not reveal anything personal about my customer because I suspect we're going to get an image on the screen here just any second. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. Still Apple logo. I have actually had these things come up in iTunes. With, um, with the Apple logo stuck on the screen. Apple logo on the screen, but the phone is full up and it's in iTunes. iPhone requires your passcode after restarting. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I have got to make time to adjust my templates, folks. I, I, I've got to. Right now, if you send a device to me for repair, you will get an email that says, if you want us to fully test your device, please include your passcode. But nowhere in that email does it say, note, if you're sending this for data recovery, we have no way to get the data unless you include the passcode. No passcode here. No passcode there. Damn. Okay. When am I going to learn to get the passcodes before before doing anything else? So, um, well, folks, that uh, that's about as far as I can take this one without a passcode. That is a stopping point for me because I'm going to carefully set this aside. Let me get uh, let me get an emergency screen on here so that you can see that it is actually working with backlight. It's dim because we don't have an ambient light sensor. Um, so, uh, gosh, I'm not going to go any farther. This is a data, data recovery. And at this point I've got it, but I don't have the passcode. So what I need to do from here is run a backup on this thing because once in a while, these iPhone six long screw damage, no image issues are a royal, royal pain in the neck. And at this point, I've got this thing ready to get his data. I just got to put in a passcode. After I get it all backed up, then it may be it may be feasible to think about reconnecting that other trace. But the other screw hole is completely through as well. Um, gosh, you know it, it, it's a, it's a toss up. Can I fix it? Probably. But should I spend the extra two or three hours on it, and maybe still not fix it? Not so much. This guy's request says as cheap as we can be to get the data he's already got another phone he just wants the pictures so folks 
that is going to be the end of this video. You can probably tell I'm not 100% sure whether or not I'm going to continue with this repair, but I can tell you this for sure. Right now I stop until I get a passcode because I have to secure this data at all costs. Now once in a while I'll have a customer that just don't want to hand over the passcode and I have did the recovery and shipped it back so they could recover it, but we're talking two in the last year and I don't want to do it. I just, I don't want to do it because that's asking me to take a monumental size risk where if it doesn't boot when you get it back, then you didn't get what you paid for. And if I do the backup on this end, then I send it back not booting with a flash drive, you've got what you paid for. If I send it back not booting, or send it back booting, and um, you receive it and it don't boot, I've got a local backup copy. I can easily put it on a flash drive and ship it to you. So as long as I can make a backup on this end, you're going to get it. You're going to get what you paid for because I've got your data. But in this case... I don't have a passcode, so I don't have data. I just have a splintered together phone with, with an image. So, uh, folks, that is going to be it for this video. I'm going to move on to my next one, and that will be my last one for today. I'm done. I'm so done. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you have successful repairs, and I will see you next time. Have a good day.